Hello and welcome. Today we're going to guide you through the quick and easy process of setting up Fusion Auth in just about five minutes. But before we dive in, there are a couple of prerequisites you need to have in place. The first requirement is Docker. I highly recommend using Docker Desktop so that you can get this installed in any of your operating systems. For a sample application, we'll be using Node.js. Any recent version of Node.js should work just fine. In order to use Fusion Auth, download the Docker Compose and .env files. Now that we have the Docker Compose file downloaded, we can take a look at it. It includes a post Postgres database, Elasticsearch for searching within the application, as well as our FusionAuth application. We also downloaded a default.env file. This includes Postgres user, Postgres password, database username, and database password. You'll want to change these for production purposes. Now you can run docker compose up. This will create and start the containers. The addition of dash d will run in detached mode by running the containers in the background. If at any point you need to completely start over, you can run docker compose down dash v. This will remove all of the volumes. Now open up a browser on localhost port 9011. Pay special attention to setting up the super user credentials, which are crucial if you haven't set up the database in advance. You can also modify the Fusion Auth credentials if needed. Ensure that you correctly specify the database type and its location. Now we need to create an admin account and the application. After successfully configuring Fusion Auth, it's time to create the initial admin account. Don't forget to accept the license and optionally sign up for the newsletter. Next, to get an application up and running with FusionAuth, you'll need to create one. The FusionAuth admin UI is an application within the FusionAuth instance. Remember to enable the authorization code grant and specify the appropriate redirect URL for your application. Users need to be associated with an application, which FusionAuth calls a registration. This includes setting up details like usernames, languages, and time zones. To complete the setup, you'll need to integrate your application with FusionAuth. You can do this by cloning a Node.js repository, installing the required NPM packages, and modifying a few files to align them with FusionAuth configuration. Specifically, you'll need to grab the client ID and client secret from the FusionAuth application you just created. Once everything is set up, you can start up your server, log out of your current session with FusionAuth, and access the port where your Node.js application is running. And there you have it. In just about five minutes, you've gone from having nothing but a database in Node.js to a fully functioning FusionAuth installation integrated with a sample application using the authorization code grant. So why would you choose to use Fusion Auth for your next application? First off, you get built-in Auth workflows, including forgot password, registration, multi-factor, single sign-on. Secondly, Fusion Auth provides you with a customer identity and access management platform. This will give you access to centralized user data, multiple applications, and standards such as Jot and OAuth 2.0. If you want to explore further, feel free to dive into the code and see how all the pieces fit together.